Hello everyone, this is Rock Crin coming to you with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Hellboy the movie. Went and saw it this afternoon. And, uh, you know, it's a rated R action comedy, I don't know. It's an action movie for sure. There's the IHOP. And uh, that's the Wendy's dumpster right there. And that's Fry's over there. Uh, just to give you some idea where I'm at. It's freaking cold out here tonight. Uh, that's the Hampton Inn kind of see it anyways yeah so i saw hellboy today looked at some of the reviews this morning and it was rocking a 11 percent on rotten tomatoes but that's a website with no integrity so i don't know if i trust it but i saw the movie and i rather quite liked it i mean it's really gory it's really got some great action sequences there's a scene where uh they're fighting these giants uh, it's all cg but it looks so cool the giants they have so much stuff like it you know their costumes and you know it's cg but they took a lot of time on the costumes and their weapons just looked amazing uh and yeah they're fighting them and i don't know the uh, mila jovovich never looked better oh my god And David Harbour was the perfect choice to play Hellboy. I, I think they really knocked it out of the park with that casting, because he's great. Uh, Ian McShane is in the film as well. I'm trying to think who else is in it. Uh, well, not many. No, nobody I knew <laughs> of the other actors, but Ian McShane, he's like in all the, the John Wick movies. But he doesn't play that character in this one. He's Hellboy's dad, actually. Well, not his physical father, but the one that raised him from a baby demon to the demon he is today. <laughs> There's my tumbleweed. See that? Can you see that? Not really. It didn't come in. It's in the dark. But yeah, so Hellboy was super cool. Uh... I, I would su I suggest you guys go check it out because, I mean, if you like action movies and you like violence and gore, it's what it is. And it's got a cool character, and it's it's kind of like part three. If you like the other two movies, I mean, they do go over his origin again, but only for like a couple minutes. You know, so they don't really fill up the whole movie with ju with his origin like the first movie did. So, you know, it's kind of like part three if you like those other ones, and it's a new beginning if you didn't, if you never saw them. So, uh, there's that. And, of course, uh, what a lot of people are talking about today is that new Star Wars trailer. <laughs> I'm sure everyone has seen it. I don't know what I think about it. <laughs> My first impression was straight trash. But... <laughs> On further review, I, there's things I like, especially Lando showing up. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, well, it's kind of busy out here this evening. Yeah, but Lando in the Star Wars trailer, was it's pretty exciting to see him and Chewie together in the Millennium Falcon. I don't know about Rey. I, I think that Last Jedi just ruined everything. You know, all the characters, they had arcs. They were going places with those characters. And then Ruin Johnson got his hands on the franchise and just destroyed everything. So hopefully, uh, hopefully he can pick it back up. Uh, I guess for the people that were at the Star Wars celebration, uh, Ian McDermott, the guy that played the Emperor, came out on stage. He's going to be in Episode 9, <laughs> which blows me away. <laughs> Because, you know, he's dead. He was thrown into the reactor core of the uh, the Death Star Part 2. But if it, it, the actor's back, maybe it's flashbacks, maybe he's reconstituted a body all these years later. I don't know. But it should be kind of fun, I don't know. So yeah, Star Wars, uh, all the... The cast and crew of the Phantom Menace are all at a bar in uh, Chicago, uh, and they're all live streaming. All of them are at once. I watched all of Jesse's stream. She was the first one to go live. Clicked in on Ethan's stream and Jeremy's stream for a little bit. That was a. That's pretty cool. I mean, if you don't know who those guys are, geeks and gamers, and 
Mindless Entertainment and Comic Artist Pro Secrets. They make Star Wars videos. <laughs> oh, and Jeff was there too. World class bullshitters. <laughs> He's pretty good. I like him. Uh, I don't subscribe to his channel anymore because it's kind of boring. I don't know. These days, it was a lot more exciting when, I guess, before Captain Marvel. She pretty much took over all the talk there for, for the last couple months. But yeah, so they're all doing that. Uh, tell me what you think. If you've seen the trailer, I don't know how to leave links in the description, but I can probably figure it out. <laughs> And if you can't find out how to see the Star Wars Episode 9 trailer, shame on you. Because this is 2019. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, anyhow, I think this is where I'm going to end this one. Not much to talk about. Uh, you know, Hellboy, hell yeah. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great night.